go to today's video you guys make sure you hit that like button make sure you hit that share button y'all definitely hit that subscribe button y'all y'all know what it is man road to 100k comment down below if y'all want me to get a chair like this like like no cap though and everything i love like this chair is comfortable like this is what i need like whenever i go live like look at that i cannot wait this is why i need to get my own spot y'all for something like this if I had something like this, do y'all know how better my live streams would be if I had something like this? Like, for real, for real. Like, this is what I need right here. Like, come on now. I cannot wait, man. I cannot wait, y'all. Keep watching my videos. Keep watching my shorts. Keep watching my lives and supporting the lives. Super chat, super thanks. All that good stuff. Man. As soon as, as, soon as I get my own spot, as soon as I get my own thing, I'm giving me one of these, man. But uh, other than that, y'all enjoy the rest of this video. We're up in here in Staples right now. Just, you know what I'm saying? She over here having a shopping spree at the clearance section and stuff. Y'all know the way women be. They love to shop, love to look at stuff, and love to do the most and everything. So, yeah. With that being said, man, watch the rest of this video. Enjoy the rest of this video. And, uh, yeah, man, comment down below. How would y'all feel? I just need my own spot, y'all. I don't care if it's a one-bedroom apartment. I'll take that over anything. <clears throat> well, get one. Uh, do what you want to do. Shit. Yeah, shit, I'm comfortable, man. This is cool. This is what I need. Like, for real, though, this is what I really need. But other than that, y'all, y'all enjoy the rest of this video. I'll see you guys right now. Y'all, about to get the day started, man. As y'all can tell, it's early in the morning. Checking the tires and everything. Making sure we ain't got no flats. Yeah. Making sure we ain't got no flats. Making sure that we is good to go. We gotta go to the bank right now. Yep. Gotta go to the bank right now. Gotta go fill the gas up in here. Gotta take the kids to school. <clears throat> Always make sure that there's gas in here, man. It's foggy right now. Here we go. Cold start. Ooh. Come on. There we go. Go, y'all. Nice little cold start. One thing I can say is that I don't got no heater in here. Yeah. So in this truck, you better be wearing a sweater. And if it's super, super, super cold, like I mean in the 40s and 30s, uh, you better have like at least about three blankets on you right in here with me. I'm being honest right now. This truck is super cold, like an icebox. Um, my whole plan was to get the new car. And then, like I said, at the end of this year, before winter starts, I am going to send this truck back to get the heater fixed. So pretty much what they got to replace is the heater core. The heater core is like, it's, it's basically a radiator for the heater in order for the heater to work. Basically it takes antifreeze, basically it takes uh, antifreeze and heat from the engine and it dissipates it and it brings heat inside the uh, inside your car or your truck. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. But it's, just, it's behind the dash. In order to replace the heater core on here, you got to pull this dash out just to get to it. It's a hundred and something dollar part, but labor is like about almost like a thousand dollars. So when the winter time come around, I'm going to fix it. Or I might get it fixed in the summer. Shit. Oh, we're going to see what's up. Y'all, I'm just dealing with the headache with the other car and everything. Um, it is six o'clock. So the service department opens at seven o'clock. So I got to make some more phone calls to see what's going on, what's happening. And also, too, to make sure that they received the car and everything. So I'll be giving a phone call 
uh, probably in the next hour or so. But I got to go to the bank right now. And we got to go top this gas off, man. I got to go drop at least a hundred ball real quick to top the gas off in here. So, yeah, y'all stay tuned right now. And uh, I got to go take care of some business and I'll go top this gas off. Let's go. Here we go. About to fill this thing up right now. About to fill this thing up, y'all. $80. Let's see what this does. Yeah, man. Beautiful day out here. Real beautiful day out here. I haven't washed this truck like in two weeks and it's still clean. Still clean. Heck yeah, man. Might as well check everything. Fill this thing up. Look at that. Five dollars a gallon, man. It don't even make no sense. Here we go with the expensive ass gas prices. I think it's gonna hit seven dollars again, like last shit, like last summer. It's just my opinion. Look at that. Fifteen gallons, eighty dollars, man. Like five nights. Oh, it make no sense. Get up out of here. Don't ask me how I ended up with mismatched seat covers. I thought it was the same thing, but yeah, things happen. Oh, watch this. Let's see, full tank or nah? Almost. Almost. <clears throat> Almost. That's better than before. Almost. That's better than before. 150. Ah, uh, this is bull crap. Let me tell you something about this right here. I don't follow this. My opinion, if you pay attention to this, your gas hand will go down within the blink of an eye. And I'm telling you all this from experience with this truck and the other car that we got. I don't go by that. I feel that's crap, by the way. I just go by the gas gauge shit. If it's low, put some gas in there. If it ain't low, leave it alone. But let's get back home right now. Man, my sleeping schedule is pretty messed up, you guys. I told you, I got a crazy sleep schedule. Like, I mean, to the point where I hardly don't sleep. It's like, get up and go, 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 go. You know what I mean? No time for sleeping or uh, procrastinating. Yeah, I'm happy to have some gas in here. Thank God. Yeah, this just shows you that gas is expensive, you guys. Look at that. $5 a gallon. It's going up little by little. Every week is always going up. Let me go make a U-turn. Sheesh. But... Um, if you own a big truck or SUV, uh, y'all probably already know it's cheaper to fill the damn thing up than to be BSing around, putting 30 here, 30 there. It's just cheaper just to fill it up and, uh, yeah, keep going. Yeah, man, but here we go. Thank you, Biden. Thank you, Biden. Thank you. Thank you for the high gas prices. Trump 2024. Trump 2024. Make gas, make gas prices $2 or $3 a gallon again where it was affordable. Sheesh. <laughs> Don't even make no sense. But yeah, man, I remember I used to walk these streets. You know, it felt kind of good wake coming out in the morning or whatever. You know, every once in a while. Well, this whole week or whatever. Got some uh, important stuff going on. But I used to walk to school, you guys. When I used to go to Cabrillo High School and everything. I used to walk to school from the Springdale Apartments all the way down Santa Fe early in the morning. Skateboarding, riding the bike, everything, and catching the bus. If I, you know, what I mean, if I had the bus pass or the money or whatever, but yeah, man, it's bring back some memories. I didn't have, like I told y'all, back when I was younger, I didn't have none of this stuff. The people that know me personally from way back then, y'all know I didn't have none of this stuff. 
I didn't have none of this stuff, y'all. I used to get clowned, you guys, for walking to school, riding a bike to school, or catching the bus. The same people that clowned me from back then, these are the same ones that's broke right now, that ain't got nothing going on for themselves, that ain't got no job, no car, that ain't got nothing at all. <laughs> and I bet they look back then like, damn, man, we should have never did that. You know what I mean? <sighs> but uh, yeah, man, let's get up out of here. All let's right, go let's home. talk about these dash lights right here. Okay, the first one, that's an airbag light, came with the truck. The check suspension light is because I used to have air suspension on here. Do your research. <clears throat> a lot of the uh, Navigators, Expeditions, and even some F-150s. I, I believe some of them Lariats uh, came optional with the air suspension. And um, <clears throat> I don't like air suspension. The air suspension on these, shit, on a lot of these Fords, Lincolns are just trash uh you're gonna have problems uh you're gonna have problems uh with the air suspension on here that's me being honest right now you're gonna have problems with the air suspension on here i as soon as i got this truck and it was sagging in the back and it was um it was leaning in the back or whatever <clears throat> i swapped it out and i put springs in i didn't i didn't want to go through the headache of trying to diagnose why the air suspension ain't working if it was the compressor or if it was <clears throat> the sensor in the back <clears throat> I didn't want to uh, I didn't want to deal with that So I replaced it with springs Watch I'm going to show you guys right now I'm going to show you guys right now Check this out Turn this thing off man Because my gas engine is going down Here we go. Yeah, here we go. Let me show you guys real quick. Okay. Yeah, I got the springs in the back. Yep. I don't know if y'all can see it or whatever, but I got the springs right about. Yeah, right there and right there. Yeah, I replaced it with springs in the back. It's way better with springs, you guys. Uh, the air suspension on these Fords and these Lincolns, they are trash. Uh, they might work good in, in when, it's, when they're brand new, but uh, after a while, whatever, uh, these things start developing uh, issues with the air suspension. Like, I mean, when I first got this truck, let me tell you something right now. Let me tell you something right now. This used to sag in the backyard, and when I first bought it, and I had to go pull it out the backyard where I bought it from, that thing felt like a lowrider. If y'all ever, if you ever rode in a lowrider or driven a lowrider, y'all know that uh, bounciness that comes with it, and that's hydros. But yeah, heck yeah, I like how the way this truck turned out with the rims and everything, man. I like it. I like it. I'm happy with it. Like I said, probably like in the next month or two, I sh I will be getting some brand new tires for this truck. I will be getting some brand new tires for this truck. I'm gonna order on my line and everything. It's just right now. Saving money, stacking up money, and um, grinding hard, and uh, you know, and uh, busting my ass right now. So that's what I'm doing. Yep. I like how the way this truck turned out, man. I'm happy. I'm real happy. The only thing is, man, I want to get these headlights fixed. I want to get these headlights restored. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Get these headlights restored. I don't like that oxidation or whatever, or that fogginess. I don't like that. And the headlights, I don't like that. But overall, y'all, I'm happy with the truck. Uh oh, I think we got a problem. Either it's been like this. Uh oh, I might have to get that fixed. Take that to a body shop. You got to get that fixed. Uh huh. I don't know how this happened, man. See, I got some questions. I got to ask my lady back when she was driving it, man, when I'm not there. Yeah. I got to see what the hell happened right there. That ain't cool. I could probably get another one of these off out of the, off of another one and just do the paint match it or whatever. Ouch. That's still in place, which is a good thing. Maybe it's been like this. That's the only thing I can think of. It's probably been like this. Yeah, it's probably been like this. 
it's probably been like this probably when I got it. I just never paid attention. But yeah, man, look at that. Yeah, I'm still clean. The rims are still clean. I gotta get a car wash, which I may do today. I may wash it today. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> Or else I'm gonna throw some zip ties in there. I'm gonna throw some zip ties, zip tie the dang thing. That's what I usually do. Let's see. Yeah, see, this is flushed in or whatever. I'm about to get this fixed. It ain't bothering me. It ain't really bothering me or whatever, but whoever fixed this bumper, uh, they did some gangster stuff. I don't know what they did to it or whatever, but they did some gangster stuff. <laughs> well, oh well. Oh well, y'all, this truck looks good, man. Heck yeah.